please make some noise! All right, now, now they sent me the shortest player they had. Just to make us look bad, but that's okay, that happens. So how are you guys doing? Do we want to wait or not? So much better if we also had morning and center back, don't we? Huh? I asked him, he said no. He said no. So anyways, I want to thank my colleagues, Commissioner Doran Roll. Commissioner Meleka Sosa. And actually, the other ones that can't be here, they're up recruiting. We have some in Chicago. Yes. Some in Phoenix. And, and, and we have them all over. LeBron, Bosch. We're trying to get them all. But, but we, we have a special weapon. And the special weapon is we send commissioners out there and we board them to the point where they say, don't talk to them anymore, I'll sign with the heat. Let me see that. This is what we're here for. It is genuinely said by B.C. Forbes, the founder of Forbes magazine, that history has demonstrated that the most notable winners and usually encountered heartbreaking obstacles before they triumph. They went through tough times before they, they got to where they wanted to. And you know what? If you don't go through tough times, you don't appreciate when the good times are going on. All right? Remember 2006? We went through some bad times. But now we're there, and we're going to be there again. Now, Miami-Dade County and the favorite son, Dwayne Wade, they brought home the gold medal 2008 Olympics. They also, he was named the most valuable player in 2010 NBA All-Star Game. Selected first team All-NBA. The guy can play basketball. Just a little bit. He can, you know, he can just play basketball. All right? Because of that, the mayor, the chairman, my colleague, special commissioner Roll, who's here, commissioner Sosa, and the other ones out on the recruiting trip, and all of you in Miami-Dade County declare July 1st through the 8th as Miami Wade County Week. And we're gonna hold this until he comes and he's able to accept it personally. I'm sure he's tied up right now. He has 126 million other problems to think about. All right, just a couple of them. But we're going to hold this for him, and we will present it to him uh, as the time comes. But I'd like also my short friend over here uh, to give you some words. Welcome again, number 33. Lonzo! Commissioner Martinez, thank you so much. Uh, one of the mayor and, and uh, all the other commissioners um, that made this particular day possible. Um, on behalf of Miami Heat, um, we are uh, proud of this particular day, this moment, because uh, we're celebrating one of our own. We're celebrating Dwayne Wade. I just got off the phone with D. Wade about an hour ago, uh, and um, he regrets that he could not be here. He's in Chicago right now, taking care of some business with his family. Uh, but his heart is here right now. And the one thing that he asked me to tell you all is that he wanted you all to make some noise for him so he can hear you back in Chicago. Do that again. Y'all make some noise for D-Way so we can hear you back in Chicago.
D-Wade, not just as a basketball player, but as a person. He's a good person. And um, at the same time, we know that, that everybody is anxious and, and nervous about these next couple of weeks. But we're very, very confident that he will sign back with the Miami Heat. And he's not signing back with the Heat because we have a great basketball organization. That's not why he's signing back with the Heat. He's signing back with the Heat because of each and every one of you all. But it's our job as an organization to put the right pieces on the floor around him that will bring another world championship back to the city of Miami. So, so on behalf of the Miami Heat, Pat Riley, Mickey Harrison, uh, everybody in the basketball operation, all the Heat staff, we thank you all for your support. Uh, we're looking forward to next year, and uh, I can assure you that the best is yet to come. God bless you.